monarchs are a source of interest for people everywhere. People simply can't get enough of royalty, including the late Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana, as well as other notable royals throughout history. The fact that monarchs have a range of crown jewels that might enhance their beauty is therefore not particularly shocking. The 10 most expensive royal crown jewels in the world will be covered in this video. Number 10. The Sovereign's Orb $200,000 King Charles II was crowned in 1661 using the Sovereign Orb. This is one of the most extravagant crown jewels on the planet, not just of the British monarchy. It is made of gold, green emeralds, diamonds, and pearls. Based on the materials used in the Sovereign Orb, experts suggest that it's worth around $200,000. Number 9. Elizabeth Taylor's Egyptian Royalty Bracelet $818,500 Next is a piece of jewelry that once belonged to ancient pharaohs. Elizabeth Taylor is known for her role as Cleopatra in 1963. But aside from playing the role of Cleopatra, the Queen of Egypt, she has in her possession a bracelet that came from Egyptian royalties. It is believed that her bracelet once belonged to King Farouk, who was one of the very last monarchs of Egypt. This bracelet comes with different precious stones, including sapphires, emeralds, rubies, and of course, diamonds. Number 8. Greville Emerald Kokoshnik Tiara, $14 million This Russian headdress Kokoshnik-inspired design of this accessory comes with a diamond and emerald with a large capuchin emerald right at the center. According to the royal family in a press release, it comes with six emeralds on both sides. Plus, it also comes with the rose-cut diamonds. The Greville Emerald Kokoshnik Tiara is not exactly considered an official crown jewel. But what we know is that it's an accessory that once belonged to Queen Elizabeth II. Number 7. Imperial Crown of Austria, $60 million plus. This crown jewel is best known for its complex design and was made a hundred years after the medieval age ascended. And since it was made in the early 17th century, this crown jewel is pegged at around $16 million. Upon closer inspection of this crown, you'll notice that it comes with stunning details. It comes with a gold circular base that is surrounded by both diamonds and pearls. It also comes with gold mitres or spiked sides like the headdress worn by bishops. Number 6. The Crown of Bavaria, $17 million plus. What makes the Crown of Bavaria worth more than $17 million? The crown not only comes with gold, but also includes the Wittelsbach diamond. The diamond measures 24.40 millimeters, which is close to 1 inch in diameter and around 8.29 millimeters in depth. The Wittelsbach diamond is a 35.56 carat diamond that stands out compared to the typical diamond mainly because of its color and internal clarity. The wound found in the crown has a deep gray and bluish color. It has been compared to the Hope Diamond. Number 5. St. Edward's Crown, estimated at around $39 million. The St. Edward's Crown weighs around 5 pounds and was commissioned by Charles II. The value of this crown is believed to be $39 million, while others think it could go even higher given the historical significance of this item. This crown comes with a velvet cap as well as a cross sprinkled with precious stones at the top of its sphere. It has been used in coronation ceremonies and was based on a much older crown that was attributed to the crown that King Edward the Confessor wore in the 1600s. Number 4. Imperial State Crown, $354 million the St. Edward's crown wasn't the only ceremonial crown to be used during coronation ceremonies. It's also common to use the imperial state crown during these occasions. 
Unlike the St. Edward's crown, which was made in 1600s, the imperial state crown was relatively new. It was crafted in the 1930s during the coronation of King George VI, who happened to be Queen Elizabeth's father. The imperial state crown is considered one of the newest pieces of jewelry in the British royalty's collection. However, despite being somewhat new, it costs around $354 million. Number 3. Sovereign Scepter, $525 million plus. In 1905, the government of the province of Transvaal gave King Edward VII a pricey birthday gift. This includes more than 3,000 carats of African diamond cut by a royal asher. Additionally, the Amsterdam-based jeweler cut the diamond into nine larger gems and 100 smaller ones. The nine larger diamonds are called the Cullinan diamonds, seven were used for the Queen's collection of jewelry, while the remaining two diamonds were part of the crown jewels. Number 2 the Sword of Offering, $660 million The Sword of Offering was made in the early 1800s and it made its debut during the coronation of King George IV. Since then, it became a regular item in succeeding coronation ceremonies. The item is estimated at around $660 million, making it possibly the most expensive sword in the world. This is also an important sword because the Sword of Offering is going to be held by the newly crowned monarch. Number 1. St. Wenceslas Crown – Priceless The top pick goes to St. Wenceslas Crown. This crown is believed to be a priceless jewel that isn't even displayed to the public. This is still securely kept in Prague's St. Wenceslas Chapel. Its precise location in the St. Wenceslas Chapel is unknown though. This crown jewel is constructed of 100 additional valuable stones and pearls along with 22 karat gold. Why is this costly or priceless? This crown is a priceless relic from the Bohemian Kingdom, often known as the Czech Kingdom. Crown jewels serve as a symbol of the monarchy's sovereignty and authority. But not every crown diamond is the same. Some things cost more than others. There are some of the most valuable crown jewels in the current time. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications as always. Thank you in advance for your feedback. I am Miss Luxurious, signing off for now. Do not forget to visit our YouTube luxury channel Luxoid to explore the exemplification of the great state of comfort and extravagant living.